Hey everybody, uh, just a quick tutorial from me today just to show you my findings with uh, creating like a snow trail um, I don't know if, it, if a, a wheel was to move through some snow it kind of leave the tracks in the snow um, so I'm going to just show you quickly how to do something similar to that um, so all I've got is a subpatched plane here with a few subdivisions and I've also got a, a snowball so I'm just going to make a snowball sort of move through the snow and leave a trail uh, very simple stuff so I'll just send that to layout and move the light out of the way okay so the first thing I need to do here is to give myself some uh, movement with a snowball so I'm just going to create some rough keyframes just to draw a path out something like that very simple there we are okay so next we need to set up our um, snow plane so I'm going to hit P for properties uh, come across to geometry here and I'm going to set subdivision order to after motion and I'm going to increase the subdivisions here I've got 2700 ish polys there but I'm going to crank this up to 12 to give myself nearly 50,000 there okay um, then I'm going to come to my deform tab add displacement and then right at the bottom I've got texture displacement here so just double click that and I'm going to give myself some turbulence there just to make a bit of a snow texture something like that will do for now so next we're going to add a um, another procedural texture and this time I'm going to use one called marker pen uh, let's see it somewhere marker pen there we go so marker pen is part of uh, it's on the DP kit website uh, if you just search for DP kit on um, on Google and you'll you'll come across this and it's this render man our man collect here there's loads of really useful nodes and procedurals and you can see here we've got um, this marker pen one so basically what it does is it draws a line to, based on your motion path of any object um, so essentially what we're going to do is use that line to displace uh, our snow plane so um, for this to update real time um, I just click the studio live button there um, let's just come across to here so this is pen reference I'm going to set that to be my snowball I'm going to give the pen some width here and let's have a scrub through right that's not working yet so let's see Ah, so if you turn on VPR um, it kind of kicks it into gear you can see there now so now when I scrub through we get this nice trail okay so I obviously want the um, the ball to make a, a groove in the snow so I'm just going to set this to be subtractive so you can see that that could be like a, a wheel turning in the snow and you could leave your, tr your tracks behind it could be um, character footprints or anything okay so we we've got our radius set to two let's just make it a little bit smaller and then we've got a uh, fuzzy edge as well so we can kind of smooth that um, so there we go that looks kind of nice that's working so what I'm going to do 
is add another one of those. Just be careful though that you don't attempt to copy and paste this marker pen, it will crash. It, well, it does on my system anyway. So I've kind of got used to just um, creating a new layer and setting the um, parameters manually. Okay, let's get marker pen again. References the snowball again. You can see that one's not updating, so I'm just going to switch VPR on, switch it back on, and then we get there we go. So uh, this one, I'm going to make it an additive, and I'm going to make it radius of two. bit of a smooth there, let's make that three and perhaps bring the value down a little bit so I'm kind of you can see it's sort of displacing the snow as I change those values there So it's just a case of tweaking the values till you've got something that works. Uh, let's just drag our turbulence on there to be an additive. And there we go. So that'll move wherever we place our snowball now. So if I just move that around. Turn Studio Live on. There we go. You can see that how that actually updates now. And if it stops updating, just hit VPR, turn that on and off, and you'll uh, you'll get your uh, updating trail. So there we have it. Thanks for watching.